In the race itself, what a thrill. A 20 year old who had some real daring moves today got his first IndyCar Series victory. Dave Calabro and Taylor Tannenbaum take us trackside. Hi everybody, welcome to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The month of May officially underway with the Grand Prix of Indianapolis. Taylor, it was fun to watch a youngster, Renus VK, yeah. a 20 year old winning at Indy. Yeah, celebrating with champagne we saw in Victory Circle. The kid can't even drink champagne because he's only 20 years old. It's one thing to win your first Indy car race, Dave. Another to win it here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, right? Pretty special day for this kid. A move from the Netherlands, chasing a dream of winning at Indy. We talked to him earlier just to be on this podium at such a special place. Is this something as a kid you thought about? It's a dream come true. Uh, you know, getting this car on the elevator, going up, it's super special and uh, I, I don't have too many words for it. It's just amazing. And to have mom and dad here and, and just the emotion of having that scene. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to have them out there, uh, out here. It's, um, you know, it's been hard for everyone and you know we've we've done it you know with the team everyone it's their home race it's an awesome start to may and uh, it will give everyone a big confidence boost for the 500. i think we can all see the emotion in your eyes oh it's, it's amazing uh yeah i was crying in the car actually it's just so much to take in but uh just tears of happiness it's incredible i'm so happy for him all the effort and finally what a special moment it was to be in the pits with mom and dad and the entire team when they got to celebrate mom your joy, dad, tears in his eyes, you'll love to see it. Yeah, tears of joy and yeah. congratulations to Ed Carpenter Racing based here in Indianapolis. It's the first win for their team in five years and Ed really loves this young, young driver he has. Oh yeah. Arenas did everything he needed to do. The guys saw an ex-boys in the pits, crushed it. Uh, Chevrolet gave us great mileage down the stretch, and, and Arenas did everything they were asking him to do. Stayed, stayed really cool in the car. You know, he's, he's a, he can be pretty immature out of the car, which we love about him, but in the car, you know, he, he acts far older than 20. So this is going to be the first to many with him, and uh, hopefully they're all with us. We know he can't drink yet. He's not 21, so how do you guys celebrate this one? Uh, well, we don't, we don't have time to celebrate anyway. we got to get ready for the Indy 500. We're on track Tuesday, so... Uh, you know, this just makes me that much more excited that I'm getting back in the car. Okay, we had five different race leaders in this big show today. 148 passes throughout the day, which was kind of fun. And there's a bunch of young drivers that people should be watching. Oh, yeah, they're all extremely young. We've had five IndyCar races so far this season, including the Grand Prix. Three times a first-time winner this season, including Renus VK. I caught up with Alex Pillow, who finished third for today's Grand Prix, won his first race of the season in the season opener at Barber. Talking about these young guys. They're making their move on these elders in the sport. Yeah, we started really good for sure, but uh, it's too early in the season. Um, those Dixon guys, power guys, like they are always up there, like no matter what, like New Garden. Um, so we're getting there, but lots to learn still. Alex Polo adding it was great to finish on the podium. Great to see his friend get his first win today, but just makes you a little bit hungrier for, you know, the big one at the end the of the The big month. one. Two weeks away from the 105th running of the Indianapolis 500. Back on track on the Oval. On Tuesday, you ready? I'm ready. I can't wait. We'll see you guys on Tuesday. With Taylor, I'm Dave. Thanks for watching Track Team 13.